guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, then welcome. Take a seat, honey. So as some of you may know, my sister, my best friend, my counselor, the person that I just vent to about everything and talk about all this juicy stuff is gone and basic and I cannot wait to fill her in. You better believe that this is going to be in one of the letters that I'm going to send to her. Even though she may not really care because right now she's probably getting yelled at for every little thing she's doing in basic training. Anywho, so Ronnie from Jersey Shore, you remember him, right? You know how they're doing the revamping of the season and stuff? Just a couple days ago, there was some leaked footage of his, or someone got this scooped up. I heard about this because it was on Donkey of the Day with Charlemagne. He gave him Donkey of the Day and it was well deserved, might I add, because his baby mother, I believe her name is Jen Harley. Hold up one second. Let me check. Yes, and she was recording an Instagram live video, so I don't know what happened before the video, not really sure, but in the video, Ronnie is in her face and he is telling her, he's saying, show them this, show them this, why aren't you gonna show them this? And the video, the pictures that he's trying to show is screenshots, I believe, of her hooking up with her ex-boyfriend. He found footage, he found videos of her and her ex-boyfriend hooking up and I think they were old, like before they had got together and she still had him on her phone. Which, yes, that is very messed up, but the way he was acting with her was honestly abusive. It was very scary. I mean, Ronnie, he's a big guy, like you can see him, and he was just really close with her, like, why aren't you gonna show them this? Show them this, huh? What are you gonna do? And he's telling her, touch me, touch me, what are you gonna do? I don't know. I'll play the audio clip. Let's, 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 oh, look at that. Let's zoom in. Look, oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that's fucking great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's zoom in on that. Look at that. Let's zoom in on that. Come on. Let's zoom in on that. Let's zoom in on that. Let's zoom in on that. Go ahead. Let's zoom in on that. Come on. Stop. Get off me. Let's zoom in on that. Let's zoom in on that. Why don't you want to show that? Why don't you want to show that? Why don't you want to show that? Huh? Why don't you want to look? Why don't you want to show that? Huh? Show, show you. That. Show you fucking get. Get. Put your hands on me again. Seriously? Seriously. Put your fucking hands on me again. I dare you. I fucking dare you. No, no, I'm gonna delete that photo. You're right. Don't touch. And it's very aggressive. I mean, you can hear it. I can't really show it to you, um, but you can find it somewhere. And he's very aggressive. You can even see a girl running up the stairs to kind of try to stop it. And I don't know what happens. You can't see anybody hitting anybody, but you know they're obviously like, I don't know if he's trying to grab her phone from her or what, but something's going on and then it just cuts out. And then he kind of, I don't know if he did this before or if he did this afterwards, but he had on his Insta story, he wrote some things. Never do stuff when you're mad, ladies and gentlemen. Take this lesson. Do not act on your emotion because you will do very, very foolish things. I have the receipts right here. You can look them up. You can look them up. I may be able to find some and then put them in to the video, but if not, then you just get to look at me. So he says this, <laughs> note to self, can't turn a natural bone bone can't turn a natural born hoe into a housewife well if you find them in the gutter then leave them in the gutter not all people can be saved when they are so far gone all you can say is that you did your best and keep it moving hashtag facts ronnie you are such a hypocrite but i will continue if your significant other keeps sex videos of their ex, should they show enough respect to delete them, especially after being in a new relationship for over a year? Hashtag give me your thoughts. And he does a little poll. Obviously, yes, they should delete them. 
But you know what, we don't know the whole story. What if these are like so far like backed up in her phone that she just forgot they were even there? I don't know, she could have been in the wrong and she could have went back and like was looking at those. And yes, that is wrong, that is very wrong. And I would be very upset. I understand why Ronnie's really upset, but all of this stuff, he's the mother of their child. I, th I believe their daughter is now a month old. And don't act like that to the mother of your child. I mean, damn, you can be mad, but I mean, now the way you're acting, now you are in the wrong too. Communication, Ron, communication. She claps back though, and honestly, girl, you shouldn't have done this either because again, he's the father of your child. Let him make a huge ass of himself and leave it at that, but damn. <laughs> she says, can't turn a ho can't turn a coke head into a father. Yeah, buddy. <sighs> I'm definitely implying that obviously he's a cokehead. She actually also had another picture of like her like holding up like a little bag of coke like and it was empty I believe and she's like you dropped something or you left something and it's like damn. Honestly that would make sense of why he gets like so like angry. I was thinking more so steroids but I mean I don't know. I don't know because you know he's so big and stuff like it could be and you know you do get really really mad and overly aggressive when you're on steroids and stuff. So, I don't know. And this is the messed up part is I don't I have I don't have cable so I can only really watch the Jersey Shore when like I'm at my parents' house. But um from what I see, like he has actually brought a girl home and had her alone in a room like from a night out. And then luckily Polly D, the amazing person and friend that he is, intervened and stopped it before it got really serious. But regardless, you're still in the wrong in my book. You just cheated right then and there. Like, mm mm. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I guess my whole point with this is um the way that he was acting to the girl in the video, you could hear like somebody saying, Ron, stop, Ron, stop. I'm trying to do my best New Jersey accent. But it reminded me of when Sam, back in the day, when she was on Jersey Shore, and she would be like, Ron, stop it, stop, you know? And there's even like memes out there about it. And um, it just made me remember how toxic the relationship was. But at the time, I was like younger when I would watch it, and it would just be pure entertainment for me. So I wasn't thinking, about it in a more psychological adult type of way. I just was like, dang. But now I look back, I'm like, actually that was really toxic. And I'm not saying it was just Ron that was toxic in the relationship. I mean, Sam, I mean, she's literally punched him in the face before. I mean, all of that is wrong, but I can see why Sammy didn't go on the season now, I, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And honestly, Ronnie, if you're trying to get Sammy back, you're not looking too good by cheating on your baby mama especially when you had cheated on Sam and she's probably like I dodged a bullet there I mean you've cheated on her I think a couple times and then you cheat on your baby mama on the show and then on top of that then you're gonna be so disrespectful like this I mean and you know she's probably watching going damn I'm so happy I dodged that bullet I'm happy she dodged that bullet Ronnie you need help like you need to go and get some help like that anger issues is not okay and he did apologize for this but you know what I hate that you guys saw my paper back there. That makes me so mad. I will continue anyway. Let's apologize though. But apologies, you gotta show actions. Words mean nothing, you know? So let's see what he does from here on out. Anyways, this is his apology. I want to apologize earlier to my fans and especially Jen, I acted on my gut and not rationally. I should have never acted in such a manner. My deepest apologies damage control am i right hopefully he's sincere and he really does see that how that was wrong and doesn't just think about the image because yes obviously especially during the whole me me too movement and just like woman's like revolutionary like don't mess with us kind of thing this is not gonna look good for mistreating her in such a way and talking about her being nothing but a slut. And I mean, he said a bunch of very derogatory names towards the mother of his child. This is a quote from the show. He had said this to Snooki, and this is just outright disrespectful. He says, I, did, I think I just missed the feeling of security because that's what Sammy gave me. It's so effing hard for me to find and I think that's why I am the way I am. Every man wishes that he could be with the love of his life. Being with someone for seven years and then you don't end up with that person, yeah, it hurts. 
playing the victim right there. That's a little narcissistic to me because you basically just made it sound like the person just left you for no reason and like, oh, why me? I don't know. I, like, I lost the person that I love most. It's like, I can see why Sam left. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to be ugly. But given everything, I can totally see why Sam left. But Sam, I did respond to why she's not going to be on the show. And I just thought I would add that in there because at the time, I heard the response before all of this came out with Ronnie that happened recently and I didn't like pick up on that ending right there and I think it's interesting to bring that up. This is what Sam says. Very mature. Like I'm so proud of Sam and how far she's come with everything getting out of a toxic relationship and really growing from it. And again, I'm not saying it was all Ronnie in their relationship. It definitely was the both of them. They just were both very toxic together very explosive so i'm just happy to see that sam is clearly in a better place and i really do hope that ronnie can get that way so this is what sam says i have chosen not to join the show this season because i am at a completely different place in my life right now focusing on my businesses and my relationship i'm not the same person i was when i was 22. at 31 i'm currently extremely happy and in every aspect of my life and I want to avoid potentially toxic situations. I underlined that. Avoid potentially toxic situations. You cannot tell me you don't think now seeing all of this that that is clearly about Ronnie. And honestly, given how Ronnie's been acting on the show, I could see that happening and Ronnie needs to really he needs to get help he has a lot of anger inside and that anger probably comes from an even deeper place than that it's a little bit hard to feel bad for him right now because it seems like he kind of is putting himself in this like victim role with just um based off of how he was saying well yeah it's gonna be hard for me because you know I was with someone for seven years and we didn't have together yes you know what? I, I wouldn't doubt that. That is really hard, but you got to look at yourself and think about, am I learning? Am I growing from that past relationship? Because it looks like you're doing the same thing. It looks like you're kind of doing the same thing to this chick. And it's not right. And this whole topic I wanted to get into was just basically about, I can see why Sam left. And I also feel like it's a little bit, it just shows that we really need to take a good look at emotional abuse I, and just abuse, like psychological abuse, because the way that he was acting to her publicly, like on social media, bashing her in such a way, calling her basically nothing, those are very abusive words. And the way that he acted to her while she was on Instagram Live, that is scary. Guys can use, like when guy, guys are bigger than women, typically. So you can do more damage to us. So if you use those intimidation factors of, you know, yelling at us, screaming at us, getting close to us, getting close in our face, hitting things near us, sometimes that'll make us just like be quiet because we're too nervous to speak up because we don't know what's how it's gonna escalate even further. And it is scary. It's not fair to use intimidation tactics against a woman like that. I think that people just need to work on their communication. And if he was really that upset, he really should have just stayed away, cooled down, and then waited to talk to his baby mom. And um, I don't know, I wish them the best, honestly. It's just, I guess this just really came as a surprise to me to see how toxic Ronnie has gotten. And I really do hope that the drug stuff isn't true. I know everybody likes to have their fun and stuff, and I get that, but... I mean, if it's getting to the point where it's interfering with his life in that aspect and really like making him go on these like huge like rampage like anger fits and um, acting like that, it's it's not right. I don't know. If this is I'm getting into the territory where I need to start saying allegedly for all this stuff, even though it's like proven. I mean, they posted the stuff and we have the receipts and stuff. But um, just in case, allegedly, 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 allegedly. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's just my whole topic. This is what I would have talked to Justine about. So you just bear with me and give me your opinions on this. I hope I made sense with all of this stuff. I don't know. I guess I'm just very disappointed in Ronnie. I, you know, I appreciate that he apologized, but I kind of feel like, you know, we'll see, we'll see with his future behavior, I guess, um, if he changes. 
But then again, he could also just stay the same, but just make sure he doesn't do it online. I don't know. Hopefully he actually just gets help. I really think he needs to go and get help, whether that's a rehab, whether that's going to counseling for anger management, something. He needs to get help on this anger because it almost seems like he can't control it. Like he just gets so mad and so aggressive. It seems like he just kind of like... I'm not giving him an excuse, but I'm just saying it's like it seems like he gets that mad to where he just literally can't control it. And you need now it's your choice what you're gonna do with this, Ronnie. Are you going to sit there and just go, okay, I'm sorry, da-da-da, and then just act like it never happened, and then something else happens again, I'm sorry, da-da-da. The cycle continues. You have to break the cycle. This is not okay. I wish them the best. Um this is a report by me. I hope I did good. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you sometime. I don't know. More frequently because my best friend's gone and I need to vent about this stuff. Give me your thoughts, please. Bye. Hey, please subscribe because I'm trying to gain 100 subscribers or I'm trying to gain to 100 subscribers. Right now I'm at 62, so I need 38 more. So please, please, please subscribe because I told my sister I would have 100 by the time she gets out in July. So that would be amazing. Thank you so much.